This screencast video will show you how to schedule small group classes in your Zoom account and to add the link to Loop for the particular small group to access. As we know, when scheduling Zoom classes, we use the Zoom classroom on our Loop module pages. These Zoom classrooms have a lot of advantages, but unfortunately, Zoom only recognises all students in this course. And therefore, when scheduling classes in the Zoom classroom, they are visible and accessible to all students who are enrolled. This is acceptable for when we are scheduling and delivering classes that involve the whole student group, but where we have small groups and we need to schedule classes for those, we need to take a different approach, which I will explain in this video. It is important to note that before taking the steps that I will now outline, you need to make sure that your small groups have been set up in loop. In the participants panel, you can access the groups feature, or you can use the course group upload block to upload a CSV file of all students and their groups to create them more efficiently. Once you have your groups set up in loop, we need to go to Zoom. Go to the web address dcu-ie.zoom.us and click sign in to enter your usual DCU username and password. When you log into your Zoom account, click Schedule a Meeting. The person who is scheduling these meetings should be the person who is delivering the small group class itself, so that they will be associated with this meeting or the Zoom class as the host. It is possible for one person to schedule different small groups on behalf of the teachers or tutors of those small groups, but it does require a feature of Zoom called Schedule Privilege to be enabled first. So the quickest and easiest way is for each individual teacher or tutor of these small groups to to schedule the classes themselves in their own DCU licensed Zoom accounts, as I am doing here. Enter a topic for your meeting or small class. Enter a description as well. Configure the date and time of the first instance of the small group. set the duration or leave the default duration. If this small group, this tutorial, repeats itself on the same day and time each week, you can tick recurring meeting. Choose the level of recurrence and choose when the recurring meeting should end. You should have at least one of the security features turned on, such as waiting room and passcode. But if you are going to use the passcode as a security feature, you need to make sure you give this passcode to students because when they click on the link to join your Zoom small class, they will have to enter it. I'm going to disable it, however, but I will leave the waiting room feature enabled. Click save. I have now scheduled a weekly tutorial that recurs every week for 10 weeks and I now need to paste this link into Loop so that the particular group in question can access it. So select the link and copy it. Now let's return to Loop. There are two ways you can make this link available to the small group in question. The best way is to use the loop calendar for this particular loop module page. The second way is to place a URL on the loop module page for the particular group. Or indeed, you can use both methods if you wish. Let's explore the calendar method first. On your loop module page, scroll to the left navigation drawer and click the calendar icon. Make sure the module code is displaying in the drop down menu and then click new event. In the pop-up window, let's enter some details. Enter the title for the tutorial. Configure the date and time. Under Type of Event, choose Group. In the Group drop-down menu, make sure you select the correct group. This means that this calendar event will only show to the students in this group. Click Show More. Let's put some information in the description field. Click the hyperlink button, paste the Zoom URL, and click Create Link. This means we have now put the link to the Zoom class in the description for the event. Scroll down to Duration and complete the details. Let's set this calendar event to repeat every week. Click Save. We can now see this event has been created every week for 10 weeks. 
So when a student needs to access their tutorial, they will see it in their loop calendar. They click on the event details. And then in the description, they simply click the Zoom link on the day and time in question to join the tutorial. A second way to provide the link is through a URL on the loop module page. So let's return to the loop module page. In the section of your module where you have your live classes information is where we'll add the link. Turn editing on, click add an activity or resource, choose URL and click add. Give a name for the URL, paste in the Zoom link and enter a brief description. Choose to display the description on the module page. Scroll to restrict access. We are going to use a group access restriction to make sure only the students in group one see this particular link. Click add restriction. Choose group. Choose the particular group, in this case, tutorial group one, and then click the I symbol because this will make the URL invisible to every other student except those in this tutorial group. Click save and return to course. Now this URL is on the loop module page, so students can click on it each week to join their class. Whether you use the calendar method or the URL method or both, it is important to communicate with students in advance about how they access their tutorial Zoom links and why they are different to the whole class Zoom classes that they normally access from their Zoom classroom. As we know, it is important in hybrid learning to give clear and direct instructions to students, and that is no more important than in this scenario when we need to make sure the right students have the right links to the right Zoom classes. If you have any issues with this method, please log a ticket by emailing iss at dcu.ie or join a loop drop-in clinic, details of which are available from the TEU events calendar on Google Calendar.